Well, traders, uh, this is it for me today. Uh, the lesson of today is actually going to be the stock I did not trade today. We're going to talk about BA. But before that, just a quick look at my p and I'm up $38,000. SFIX started in a red in red trade, but the second one moved me to green territory. It's a classic gap and go. And you would expect a stock that is down 27% to come down. However, at first, it took me out because it moved over the highs and I should have moved out because I should have had a stop and you never know how far it could go. So I did have a stop, I did move out, but when it uh, really came down again as it should and it's sometimes all about timing, I took a second trade expecting a stock that is down 25% at that time to continue and it did continue coming down. So I'm having a final result in SFIX uh, is a beautiful um, second trade which covered my loss in the first one and more. Uh, take a look at Tesla. Somehow I didn't trust it but you know what I couldn't resist the fact that Tesla had a beautiful uh, reversed head and shoulders here. Look at this technical formation here. I, I, I have to say I was I didn't feel comfortable. I didn't feel comfortable looking at the market moving up. I still don't feel comfortable looking at the market moving up. Uh, somehow I thought the market should come down. It did not. So you know even though I'm a trader um, even though I, I need to assume the market direction and believe in it, I'm a trader, therefore I'm watching the market and even if it goes the wrong side, the wrong way, I'm still trading it because that's the direction that I'm seeing. So the market was moving higher. If you watch the S&P, look at the way it started up and it kind of moved under the lows at the beginning and then moved up over the highs and continue moving up. So the S&P was really gapping up today and going big gap and go day for the S&P. Now you look at the same time and Tesla and everything just clicks together because Tesla has this left shoulder, the head and the right shoulder and that's a perfect technical formation for a long and Tesla did go over the highs, kind of hesitated for a while but I'm still riding it uh, like 20 points or so, a little bit less now but uh, still riding 100 shares over $2,000 left in Tesla long so Tesla still doing good. $22,000 is not the end of the game here. I'm over $40,000 actually just because of Tesla. Um, ACD, a classic gap and go. We shorted this one as it came down. Uh, big gap down, 45%. You couldn't expect anything else but the gap and go. The same as with SFIX, just that the timing was right in ACAD. But again, I want to talk about the point, the trade I did not take and tell you what, I'm proud I didn't. I was watching Boeing. Boeing was weak. As you can see, the market was moving higher. Let's uh, again take a look at the S&P 500. It's right over here. So the market's moving higher. At the same time, Boeing is coming down. And I'm also watching the airlines and I'm looking at uh, uh, American Airlines and everything coming down. And I'm watching Boeing and it should come down with, uh, with American Airlines and other, and other stocks. And Boeing does come down and then try to move higher because the market was still moving higher failed and then I, I said well there should be some nice interesting point to short it right here under 223.60 I believe I posted it. So that was the point, a nice technical point for a stock that is trending lower, having a nice technical formation, airlines are coming down. The only wrong thing about it is the fact that the market is moving up and in a big way. So you know sometimes you take a look at the stock, you love the technical formation but you need to know what not to do. Now, let's just assume I'm going to look at Boeing an hour from now and I'm going to see it crashing down several points. Would that make my trade wrong, my decision wrong? Would that make my decision not to short Boeing wrong? The answer is no. It was the right decision at the right time. Look at Boeing. It's just going sideways. Boeing is weak. Boeing is currently a little bit in green, but it's more red than green today. And the market is up. The S&P is up now 1.7%. Nasdaq is up 3.4%. That's a huge upside day. So Boeing relatively to the market is extremely weak. It's trending lower. So should I short Boeing on a day like this? Well, if Boeing was down 25% like SFIX or 45% like ACAD, I wouldn't mind. Because normally when the stock is down that much, it would disregard the market direction and continue to move down as it should because it's a big gap and go. But Boeing is not at the gap and go situation. Boeing is at around zero. Even though it started in green, it came down very quickly. 
and uh, right now it's searching for direction. So the market's still moving higher. It was the wrong thing to take Boeing short. I love the technical formation. I kept talking about it in trading room until I, until I came back to my senses and said, well, you just can't do that. Market's trending higher. Market's very strong. Even though Boeing is clearly weaker than the market, stocks which I normally short, I should hang on, sit on my hands, and disregard the fact that the Boeing came down. Tell you what, really proud of myself. And when I'm proud of myself, I'm doing this. Look, you see that? I'm patting my shoulder right like, like that. And you, should <laughs> and you should do the same. You should do the same to yourself when you're taking the right decision. And uh, uh, the other way is uh, slapping your face. But you know what? You don't need to slap your face when you do something wrong because your account is showing it and you're getting the slap in your face just by looking at your account. <laughs> when you're down, whatever. Anyway, um, I think I did right. And um, I love this day. I'm up uh, right now over $40,000. And that's just absolutely amazing. And uh, a very cool day. So thank you all for participating. Thank you all for being here. And um, I'll see you all tomorrow. And um, if you're on YouTube, I saw earlier how much money you made today. You just wrote it down because Yogi asked you. So I think we deserve a thumb up, don't we? <laughs> I think we do every day, not only on good days like this. So thank you all. Um, be happy, stay green and stay safe. And I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye traders.